Hey guys, Spablo and Zero with BND, and where the hell are we, Zero? We are in hell, the best place to find the entitled parents of our stories. Well, alright then, so today we're gonna be taking a look on Titled Parents Go to Hell. EP, let me file a restraining order against you for being Muslims. This happened back when I was in Italy. Details are confused. Context. I was born in Italy and lived there for about 11 years before I moved to the UK. The thing is that I lived on a flat and the people above me are seriously Islamophobic. However, the rest of the people in that flat were among the nicest people there. The entitled parents would often harass us by playing loud music on their balcony by constantly dropping things on the floor of which everyone under the end could hear. They would often try to mess with my dad's car to the point where my dad would have to park it on the other side of the area, 10 minutes walk from my flat. On this specific day, we get a letter on our mail asking us to go to court. My dad freaks out as we have never done anything to disturb the peace or nor attack anyone. My dad calls a lawyer and he suggests that we go to court and we shouldn't fear as the EPs have no concrete evidence. So we do. We asked the whole flat to be our witness and they happily agreed. No one really liked them because of their annoying bratty kid. On the day of the court hearing, the EPs pull some dog shit that pissed off the judge. We ended up winning the court case. Turns out we're accused of making IEDs in our home and we had possession of guns. Also, the EM accused my dad of raping their 11 year old daughter. The good neighbors were defending us all throughout. From what I heard, the landlady ended up kicking out the EPs out because they're harassing us and some elderly couple. Their daughter came to my school and she bullied the hell out of me ever since but I didn't care. Hey guys, as I mentioned in another video, I'm actually a war vet. I went to Iraq and I met a lot of Muslim people in there. And I'll tell you that, yes, are there terrorists? Sure, but they're less than 5% of those people. Most of them, the only thing they have to say and what they're taught about their religion is to give a lot of love to people and be good people, like most religions. So, you know what? Just because someone's Muslim, Jew, Catholic, whatever it is, don't mistreat them just because you don't agree with their religion and don't associate them to extremists that come from their religion. Aunt left grandma to rot, stole our inheritance. I am not sure if this is the right subreddit to post this to. Feel free to tell me if I'm being stupid. This whole thing happened 11 years ago when grandma, my dad's mom died. As a background, you should know that she never was a good mother. She alone could feel that subreddit for weeks. Point is, my dad suffered a lot, but despite this, he still helped her when needed. After all, a mother is a mother. However, she had a much better relationship with one of my aunts, the EA of this story. Ye lived in her house, still does, and mooched off her money, even when she earned way more than grandma's pension. Since dad lived in a different city, it became Ye's job to care for grandma when she got weaker and weaker as her death came near. She, as a true and grateful Ye, did none of it. My parents visited grandma every two weeks and my mom washed her clothes. We have no idea if she ever bathed after she couldn't anymore by herself, and she had to order food because Ye refused to cook for one more person. When grandma got in the hospital, EA never visited her in those two months before grandma died. The reason for all this was, according to EA, that grandma upset her by saying something to her. It was something mild about EA parenting skills. Funny, considered that grandma barely could differentiate between day and night and at that point, you really can't fault a person for whatever they say. Also, EA was a cheapskate and said that grandma didn't pay her enough to put up with her. After grandma died, according to her last will, about 1,400 worth of money she had in her room was supposed to go to dad so he could cover funeral costs with it and everything else, including the huge house on a big plot of land, went to EA. Well, of course, that money went missing and EA even bowed out from partially paying for the funeral or so much as attending it after dad footed the whole bill. She also didn't let dad get a couple of mementos she wouldn't even let him in the house. I think at this point it isn't even necessary to say who pays for maintenance. Safe to say we never spoke to her in those 11 years. Guys, I'll be honest, the same thing happened to my family. Uh, we end up being able to get everything straight now and that's actually the house I rent right now. But yeah, it was horrible. People just don't care. And the saddest thing when it's the person's kids that good or bad, they try to do everything they could for them. You're corrupting my son with your sadistic religion. Guess who is back? 
back again. EP, entire parent. IK, innocent kid. M, me. So, as a weekend, it is somewhat hard for me to find a place where I can express my beliefs safely the way I should. But before this happened, I had never met someone so prejudiced. So one time I was practicing a ritual for an upcoming full moon in a roofed area in a large forest-like park. I had a few candles lit and some small bottles of essential oils and just as I was about to read out my spell when I noticed a mother covering her son's eyes and looking at me in disgust as I'd been wearing a homemade necklace with a pentagram on it. I tried to ignore it as I tried to clear my mind again until the woman starts to walk closer to me. You should be ashamed of yourself. I opened my eyes and looked at her and spoke as politely as possible. Excuse me? You should be ashamed that you're infecting this holy place with your sins. Have you no shame? Ma'am, I'm sorry, but this is a public place and I am allowed to express myself as a please. Mommy, is a lady gonna do magic? Don't worry, sweetie. Mommy will make sure she doesn't curse you. We have God on our side. I rolled my eyes and attempted to continue my ritual. Listen, can you take your sacrificial ritual somewhere else? You're corrupting my son. Ma'am, I was here first. If you wish to take your son somewhere where he won't see me, by all means, go ahead. But I'm not moving. But my son wants to sit in the shade and relax. His feet hurt and he could die of a heat stroke. Do your kind really not care about the safety of our children? Ma'am, it's 60 degrees outside. Your son's in no danger. Now, if you please leave me alone, this is an important ritual. Mommy, my feet hurt. Listen here, you brat. I want my son to sit down and be happy without you corrupting him with your sadistic religion. So pick up your caboose and whamoozy. I proceeded to ignore her as I relight one of my candles that had gone out. When she noticed that I wasn't bulging, she started to pick up my items and head for the trash can. I quickly took notes of this and got up. Man, please, I need those. Those crystals are expensive. She then started throwing away my most expensive amethyst shards that I had spent $60 of my Christmas money on. She then walked back and put out my candles and brushed my stuff into the dirt. I was mad that she took her son to sit down on a bench in the roof area. You are paying for that. I will do no such thing. If anything, you should be paying me for helping you rid your life of those sinful objects. I stormed off to security and informed Dan of the woman's behavior and asked my mother if she wanted to press charge for destruction of property, as she had destroyed $150 worth of materials. My mother agreed and the woman was squirted out while she was shouting, You're all going to hell for this. I just wanted to protect my son. Lucky for me, it's Wiccans don't believe in hell. Alright guys, I'm not saying have to agree with every single religion, but one thing that is most important, should respect it. You don't agree with it, that's fine, but respect it, okay? One of the biggest reasons for wars since God knows when, and I'm sorry if I mention God, but I do have a religion too, is that people have zero tolerance to other people with different religions, okay? We had many things. My religion, Catholics, were responsible for the Crusades. We have some Muslims, they're responsible for other wars. And you know what, in the end, always remember, it's not everybody that is the same, okay? So, stop that hate. Entitled mom calls my religion a cult. Backstory. I am a Buddhist or monk and many people call my religion a cult, but just do a little research and you can tell we're not a cult. There was an event with the religion where 5,000 people gathered and everyone who attended got a shirt that had a lion and something about Buddhists. I'll try to add the picture. Key, EM, entitled mother, EC, entitled child, D, my dad, C, cashier. Story, I had gone to a Publix, I live in Florida. And I had gotten some candy and Nisi come up to me, I think he was five, and start wailing to get my candy. And I wasn't dumb and my dad had always told me to not give free stuff to someone because they would expect to get more of it. So I told him no like a regular person. 30 minutes later I got to check out while my dad is getting something he forgot and this is what happened. <sighs> You stole my son's chocolate bar. Please give it back. Uh, no, I didn't do that. You liar. Give it back, freak. Excuse me? Give my son his chocolate bar back or I'll get in juvenile, you cult attender. My dad comes back with an item and put it in the basket. And you, you freaking skinhead. A what? How dare you what me? You have raised 
a cult attender and future skinhead. I'm calling the cops for neglect. Ma'am, I thought you would stop by now, but if you don't stop, I'm gonna need to call security. Why don't you call security on this slime ball? Look, my son didn't steal your candy. <laughs> Fine. She finished the order and adds chocolate and mumbles under her breath. TLDR. Kid accused me of stealing his candy and calls me a cult attender and my dad is skinhead. Customer service comes down and title mom realizes how stupid she was and sighs in disappointment and leaves. I wish I could say she got in jail or banned from the store, but no, she didn't. And I met her again, but in the park, but it wasn't so eventful, so I probably won't post it. Edit. Thanks for 150 likes and I'm a nature in booties. As someone pointed out, edit. The definition of a cult is a system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular figure or object. We don't have a god. Still open for criticism. Guys, that's it for today. And the only thing I have to say is what I already said. You know, respect people's religions. And the most when you don't know anything about their religion. You see, as by my own experience, when I went to Iraq, I didn't know jack shit about the Muslim religion. But you know what? After spending here and there and talking to a lot of the population i got to learn a lot and i got to learn that most religions if you really look in a certain way they're all the same their teachings are all about you being good to each other and you taking care of your neighbor etc 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 you don't see one single thing in any bible quran or whatever religious book you read about hey let's kill them because they don't agree with us so the one thing i have to say to everybody practice tolerance that's the best thing you're gonna do that's the best thing for your life and if you don't understand something read about it and now with zero and don't forget to subscribe hit that notifications button and give us a like and a comment have a great day